Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. Nvidia at CES announced that they would enable G-Sync GPUs to work on a FreeSync monitor. Today, Nvidia has released the driver update 417.7.1. Now this enables adaptive sync on FreeSync monitors. Nvidia has only certified 12 monitors out of the 400 they tested, and they claim that other monitors are just not good enough at this time. Nvidia at CES displayed monitors with blanking and pulsating issues to prove their point. Now in my personal opinion, I believe that most monitors that have FreeSync will work with this update, especially monitors over 60 Hz. Today I will test the AOC G246-0PF, which is a 24-inch FreeSync gaming monitor. It has full HD, which is 1080p, a 144Hz, and a 1 millisecond response time. This is a pretty cheap and popular FreeSync monitor amongst most budget PC users. We're gonna need a few things to test to make sure that G-Sync is working on this FreeSync monitor. A G-Sync demo, which I will link in the description down below, is an absolute must. Next, after we update to the newest drivers, we're gonna have to enable Adaptive Sync. Turn FreeSync on in your monitor settings. Now, once again, if you don't have one of the 12 certified monitors, you're gonna have to enable this manually. We're gonna turn FreeSync on in the monitor settings, let the monitor disconnect and reconnect. We're gonna right click on the taskbar, go to the video control panel, global settings, monitor technology, G-Sync compatible, and hit apply. Now the monitor should disconnect and reconnect once again like you're doing a driver update. Now if your monitor is over 60 hertz, and hopefully it is, you're gonna want to change to the highest resolution and the highest frame rate that is capable of your monitor. In my case, it's 1080p and 144 hertz. Now in the video control panel, go to display, set up G-Sync, and hit apply on the monitor that you're choosing. Now you should see G-Sync underneath the monitor that you chose. Make sure you hit apply and the monitor should disconnect and reconnect once again. As you can see, I have G-Sync enabled and I'm enjoying a tear-free, stutter-free experience. With G-Sync and V-Sync turned off, you can clearly see the image is not as smooth with bad tearing. Now let's see how G-Sync performs while gaming. I ran the built-in benchmark in Forza Horizon 4 and once again you can see with G-Sync on, I had a smooth tear free experience. Real in-game performance was just as smooth with G-Sync turned on, no matter what I did the experience was tear free and silky smooth. I also tried the benchmarks for Shadow of the Tomb Raider with G-Sync enabled. Once again a stutter and tear free experience. This is also reflected by my gameplay as a display is ultra smooth with no tearing to be found. This is great news for FreeSync owners who want a NVIDIA graphics card paired with their display. This also benefits NVIDIA users who do not want to pay the G-Sync tax as these G-Sync monitors are hundreds of more dollars expensive than their FreeSync counterparts. FreeSync has come a long way since it first launched and in my opinion the performance is on par with G-Sync. One might say that FreeSync has more of an advantage such as FreeSync over HDMI. Nvidia did say that they are looking into HDMI implementation of their G-Sync. I also tested my Q8 and Q9 TVs from Samsung that have FreeSync enabled and unfortunately G-Sync is not working. I even tried my DisplayPort to HDMI adapter and once again I was disappointed that this was not able to work. Now if you have a FreeSync monitor with a NVIDIA 10 or 20 series graphics card, this update should work. Your mileage will vary depending on your monitor's refresh rate, 120 to 840 hertz is ideal. Unless you have a certified FreeSync or G-Sync capable monitor, you have to enable this manually. I believe this is a game changer as we no longer have to rely on G-Sync monitors for adaptive sync. Anyways, I want to know what FreeSync monitor you guys have and if this update is working for you. Also, if you plan to buy a FreeSync monitor in the future and use it with your NVIDIA GPU. Leave your comments in the section down below and like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.